Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the technical department. From the topic reduction and enlargement of plane figures, I'll be showing you how to reduce and enlarge a quadrilateral. This method is the first of two called the direct method. Firstly, use your T-square and draw a horizontal construction line. Identify a point on your line and label this point A. On the horizontal line from point A, identify 20 millimeters and label this point D. Using your set square along with your T-square, draw a perpendicular line to point A. On the vertical line from point A, you will now measure 45 millimeters. Label this point as B. You will now open your compass to a radius of 40 millimeters and from point B, scribe an arc. Now open your compass to a radius of 30 millimeters and from point D, scribe an arc to intersect the previous arc you drew. This intersection of arcs is now point C. Label point C. Now draw a line from D to C. And from B to C. Now outline your required quadrilateral A, B, C, D. This quadrilateral A, B, C, D is your given quadrilateral. Now draw a line from point A through its adjacent corner C. We will now be reducing this quadrilateral. From point A, you will now draw a line at a convenient angle of your choice. Open your compass to a small convenient radius and from point A, scribe 8 arcs to intersect this line that are equally spaced apart. Now label the intersection of arcs from 1 to 8. Now given a reduction ratio of 3 to 5, you will reduce this quadrilateral. From the fifth division, based on the ratio, you will draw a line to point B.
Now place a set square along the line you last drew. And with a second set square under the first set square, you will draw parallel lines from point 4, 3, 2 and 1 to touch the AB line. For this to be accurate, the set square in your left hand must not move. You have just divided the length of side AB into 5 equal parts. Now based on the fact that you were given a reduction ratio of 3 to 5, you will draw a line which is parallel to BC from the third division on the AB line to touch the construction line that runs from A through C. Parallel to BC, draw the parallel line from the third division on the AB line. Now draw a parallel line to CD from the previous intersection you drew to line AD. Place a set square along line CD and with another set square along this first set square, slide the set square that is at the top until it reaches the intersection. Draw the line to AD. Label points B1, D1 and C1. Now outline the reduced quadrilateral A, B1, C1, D1. So here we have our given quadrilateral A, B, C, D. It is reduced to A, B1, C1, D1. We now need to enlarge the given quadrilateral by a ratio of 8 to 5. Firstly, extend line AB from point B Place a set square along point 5 to B, then with another set square under this set square, slide the top set square to point 6, 7 and 8 and draw parallel lines to touch the line that was extended from point B. We have just added three more divisions based on the enlargement ratio 8 to 5. Now place a set square along line BC and from the 8 division on this line, you will draw a line parallel to BC to touch the line that was extended from A through point C. You will now draw a line that is parallel to DC from the last intersection you got. Now using two set squares, draw a parallel line from the previous intersection you got to touch the line extended from point D. Label points B2, C2 and D2. Now 
outline your enlarged quadrilateral. Your given quadrilateral was A, B, C, D. You have just enlarged it to get A, B2, C2, D2. Border your paper and complete your title block.